Google Shopping ads are the best way to increase the visibility of your product on a search engine. It is a great way to increase your conversion rates and it can also help you generate more revenue for your business. However, it takes time to build up the following that you need in order to be successful with Google Shopping ads. If your website is not properly developed yet or you don't have enough traffic, then it can be difficult for you to see an increase in search engine visibility and conversions. In this video today, I will discuss some of the best practices for Google Shopping ads that will make your campaign scale profitably. I will also leave you a $500 Google Ads coupon to get you started, it will be first link in the description down below. But if you want an expert to set it up for you, then click the second link. 1. Optimize the framework of your Google Shopping Ads campaign. Google Shopping Ads provide a new way for retailers to advertise their products online. This section will teach you how to optimize your campaign and get the most out of it. The first thing you need to do is create an account and select your product list. You can start by adding all of your products that are in Google Shopping, then add any other products that you want to advertise and enter the price for each item. Once you have entered all of the necessary information, go into Campaign Settings and set up your campaign goals. You can set a daily budget and specify how much you want to spend on each product per day or week. Finally, go into Optimization and select the features that will be best for your campaign goals. Maximize clicks, the highest number of clicks that could be seen by the visitor. Maximize conversions, the most conversion rates that could be achieved by the visitor. Optimize performance and user experience, a combination of clicks and conversions suitable for your goals. Save money, lower cost per click, decrease in impressions, shows up more often but at a lower CTR, and increased conversions. Attract quality traffic, higher cost per click, increase in impressions. 2. Make your product feed more efficient. Google Shopping Ads is a powerful advertising tool for retailers. It allows them to reach customers who are looking for products that they sell. But it also allows manufacturers to reach customers who might be interested in buying their products. The advertising platform provides retailers with the ability to target their advertisements at specific demographics and interests, as well as optimize their online ad spend across a variety of channels. The Shopping Ads app is Google's go-to app for managing your ad campaigns on the Google Display Network. However, with so many other advertisers using the same platform, it can be difficult to stand out and get noticed. One way to make your product feed more efficient is by optimizing it for Google Shopping Ads. The following tips will help you optimize your product feed in Google Shopping Ads. Include high-quality images of the products you offer. Use keywords in your product titles. Include detailed descriptions of the products you offer. Include a link to your website. 3. Create ad groups for your items. Ad groups are the best way to organize your items. This will make it easier for you to serve relevant ads and monitor the performance of each ad group. Categorize your ads based on the following. Links to landing pages with any kind of relevant information or links, e.g. job listings, homes for sale, vacation packages. Ads for specific brands or products. To create an ad group, you need to Select the name for your ad group. Add a keyword list, optional. Add a campaign name, optional. Add a budget, optional. Save and publish. For make use of negative keywords in Google Shopping Ads. The use of negative keywords is an effective strategy to reduce the number of irrelevant products that your ads show. It ensures that your ads only show relevant products to consumers. Negative keywords prevent your ads from showing to people who are not interested in the product. This is a useful way to reduce irrelevant impressions and increase relevance in your campaigns. Negative keywords are words or phrases that you do not want your ads to show for. For example, if you offer a product that is not related to the keyword laptops, then you can add laptop as a negative keyword in order to prevent it from showing up on search result pages for the term laptops. 5. 
make adjustments to bids. Adjusting bids is a way to increase the volume of your product's ads and is an excellent way to test new keywords. Google Shopping Ads are a great way for advertisers to show their products to shoppers on Google. But, like any other advertising platform, it can be difficult to know what keywords will work best for your product. One of the ways that you can increase the volume of your product's ads is by adjusting bids. This is a great way for advertisers to test new keywords and find which ones work best for their products. Another way to improve the volume of ads for your product is by increasing your ad frequency. This allows users to see more ads per day and thus increases the number of impressions that will be delivered. There are many factors that go into determining how much an advertiser spends on advertising a particular product. However, by understanding these fundamentals and trying to calculate the cost of advertising, a company can adequately determine how much it will spend on marketing. If you were apprehensive about launching your shopping advertisements before, don't be. If you are lost, return to these five suggestions and use them as a map. Everything begins with the structure of your campaign and how you order your ads from there. And don't forget to click the first link in the description to claim your $500 coupon code to get started with your Google Ads campaign. Thanks for watching our video and bye until the next one.